well in our previous video we talked about the components of diversifying your portfolio but in this video we'll discuss about allocating your assets in portfolio diversification when it comes to asset allocation in portfolio diversification there are no clear cut rules instead any distribution should be based on one's needs as well as investment strategy so what are we waiting for let's talk about some of the things to keep in mind when allocating assets in a portfolio in the effort of diversification but before that please don't forget to press the bell icon and like share and subscribe to our youtube channel for more updates so let's begin the first one is current asset allocation when it comes to portfolio diversification the idea is to spread the risk and exposure to unrelated financial instruments in this case investing only in stocks would not cut it instead one should strive to invest in varying assets such as bonds etfs reits as well as commodities such a play would allow one to navigate various economic cycles that affect securities at different times and with a different outcome the second one is consider debt products while debt products too offer lower returns one cannot ignore them altogether any investment strategy should strive to create a liquid corpus that can accommodate expenses in this case one should consider investing in liquid instruments where buying and selling is much more comfortable the third one is consider your age when it comes to portfolio diversification investors age is a significant consideration the commonly used thumb rule for asset allocation is 100 minus one's age In this case, young investors between 25 and 35 years should strive to have a higher equity allocation of between 65 to 75 percent, while older people, on the other hand, should have a lower equity allocation. The fourth one is willingness and ability to take risks. When it comes to portfolio diversification, one must be able and willing to take risks. Equity allocation cannot be only right when one takes 20 to 30 percent cut without losing sleep over their capital. Given that risk appetite is a double edged sword investors also ought to take risks only when they understand the implications involved people with steady income streams to supplement their investment adventure can take higher risk whereas for investors relying on investment returns to support their livelihood then taking calculated risks is necessary the fifth one is time it refers to the time available to achieve a given goal when investing is essential Invest in equities only when you are doing it for the long haul. Interestingly, invest in debt for the short term. A thumb rule in diversification is that one should never invest in equities if the holding period is less than 3 years as the returns will not be as lucrative as expected. In case you are investing for the long term, then investing more in equities would be the right call. The sixth one is portfolio changes. Asset allocation should never ignore market situations or economic cycles. For that reason it is essential to tweak an investment portfolio from time to time all in the effort of enjoying maximum returns depending on the market cycle the seventh and the last one is do not over diversify contrary to perception greater diversification is not always a good thing a well diversified investment portfolio should not contain more than 20 securities especially in the equity markets it is because diversification can only reduce risk to a given level Over diversification increases one's risk exposure beyond market risk something that can be catastrophic in case of a downturn Over diversification would also result in one investing in more than one security from a given sector or industry something that would exacerbate the risk exposure Diversification only reduces the risk but does not obliterate it Well this was it for today's video I hope you keep these things in mind before allocating your assets while diversifying your portfolio stay tuned to our channel for more informative videos like these till then goodbye and take care